Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Polinar Tactical. I'm Ian McCollum, and today I'm in Slovenia on an international mission of charity to teach poor Giga here how to use a proper modern rifle. Are you still seriously shooting an M70? Give me that. This is crap. Here, take this. That's right, right? A whole lot nicer. All right, I've got a magazine for you here. No, 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 no. no. These go straight in. There's a funnel, so it's easy to put in, straight in, till it clicks. Perfect. Very simple. Now, go ahead and charge the bolt. No, no, look, you, this whole thing, this is nonsense. Support hand, back to the charging handle, pull it back, return forward, done. Isn't that easier? So much better, right? Okay, now, uh, one thing you'll notice with this is that the bolt actually stays open when it's empty, so that you know that you're out of ammunition, instead of taking aim, having it go click, and then you get killed in the streets. So, uh, we'll first need to show you the safety, but let's take the magazine out so that we can drop the bolt. No, 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 there's a button, right? Very simple. You can operate this with your trigger finger. One sec, we'll get back to that. All right, uh, so go ahead and disengage the safety. No, no, see, this is again crap. Use your thumb. And this, no, on the other, it's ambidextrous, so it's on both sides. There you go. See, once again, isn't that easier? That's your safety. This is a what would Stoner do rifle. So how is this different from any other AR? Well, first, it weighs the same as a loaded Desert Eagle. That's really light for a rifle. Ian and Carl started this project trying to envision how would Stoner design an AR rifle with modern materials and tooling? So the rifle should be light, reliable and effective. The star of the show is the KE Arms polymer lower that's very light, but they also reduce weight with other parts like the pencil barrel and the carbon fiber handguard. One controversial decision on these rifles is to remove the forward assist on the upper, but since the original Stoner design also didn't have it, I think that's in line with the idea of this rifle. If you have a malfunction that could be corrected with a forward assist, you can actually correct it with two different steps. First one is to pull the charging handle fully back and release it. The second one is to simply use your finger and push the bolt forward. What I really like are some of the added features, like the ambi selector and safety with a 45 degree throw, which you can also put on safe even when the rifle is not cocked. There's also an ambidextrous bolt catch and bolt release and magazine release on the left side. The charging handle is ambidextrous and enlarged, so it's really easy to use with only one hand. Upper and lower are held together by non-retaining pins. We have the JP silent captured buffer spring system and my favorite one, a completely chrome lined bolt. This is amazing! What are my thoughts about this rifle? Well, first, it weighs way less than any of my AKs and my ARs. It's hard to show this through video, but the lightweight of the rifle makes it easier to hold, easier to manipulate, it's faster, smoother, it holds well, it points well, it's really great. The magwell is enlarged for easier and faster reloads. The trigger is also kind of special with crisp trigger pull and very short reset. But there are two things that bother me and could be improved. First one are the loose tolerances on the upper and lower, and the second one is the gas port slash gas block. It's just over gas. Now I'm not sure if this is only present on the European guns, but this could definitely be improved. I solved the first problem by installing a simple rubber stop. It applies constant pressure between the upper and lower and prevents it from rattling. For a second problem, I'm still debating two solutions. One option is to change out the gas block and the second one, which I'm already thinking about, is just to shorten the barrel so you reduce the dwell time and the back pressure because I'm thinking of running with the suppressor anyway. Approved by Polenar. 